I swear he's in your bathroom Can I go through your bedroom? I'm gonna catch him all today Catch them Pokemon, put them all away Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing it? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 This is going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? Hey there, you're listening to the Snowplow Show for August 26th, 2016. Today's show is sponsored by Julian. It will be completely Julian's fault if I accidentally get someone to blow something up, or perhaps I say something that makes a person cry. That's all going to be Julian's fault. So thank you, Julian, for sponsoring the show today, and finally taking some responsibility for the things that I say and do. Remember a month ago when I created a poll on the Phone Losers Facebook group, and I asked you guys to tell me what I should ask a bakery to write on a cake, like I've done in shows before. And I want to read a few of the things. I know I've already read them once before on a previous show, but I just want to finish this one up so I can unpin it from the group. It's been up on top forever. And I can stick this in my show notes and start doing some cake calls soon. Hopefully one of these days. I don't know. Or uh, probably after Ding Timber, since that's going to eat up the whole month of September. Anyway, what should I ask bakeries to write on cakes? The number one answer is happy eighth birthday, you little slut. But, of course, I've already done that one. But maybe I'll try that one again. That one had 134 votes. Number two is sorry for the stairs incident. Pregnancies freak me out. That had 57 votes from people who think abortions are hilarious. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Number three with 52 votes is, Hey, Bob, how are we doing on that Henderson file? The deadline is fast approaching. You know, it's a really long memo that we read to the bakeries, and they start whining about not having enough space on the cake. Number four is, sorry to hear you're a diabetic. Get it, because it's on a cake. Help, I'm trapped in a bakery. Congrats on being accepted into ISIS. Happy fourth birthday to the biggest asshole I know. This cake was decorated by a douche canoe. Attention Walmart cashier, this cake is free. Do not charge the customer for this cake. Signed the management. I came up with that one, but I guess nobody likes it because it only has 13 votes. Whatever, jerks. Hello, I'm Roy, your new neighbor, and I'm a registered sex offender. Uh, One says, Bob Murphy, happy birthday, you're adopted. I gave you herpes, sorry. I murdered John JonBenet Ramsey. I'm stuck in an underground tunnel below your house. Can you hear me knocking? Have them make a glory hole cake and then get them to carve out the middle and use duct tape as padding around the hole. I'm leaving you for your sister. I had to put your bunny down. Happy birthday, though. Thanks for putting all that lotion in the basket. I will release you soon, I promise. Enjoy the filling. I creamed it myself. I want a divorce. You think Pokemon Go is more important than your wife, jerk? I don't know why I'm reading these now, by the way. I could just do a show where I actually, you know, call the bakeries and have them do these things. So, you know what? This is kind of pointless. What the fuck am I doing? I'm not going to finish this list because there's a bunch of them and they all have like one in two votes. Here, I'll just read one that I like from the very end of the list. It says, I will serve you, dog. Your partner, Randy. And then it says, or I'll put the pistol to you. Yay for obscure references. Anyway, I'm going to shut the fuck up and we're going to do a show. Today was a live show. I did it earlier today. And it was a fun show. I confused people. I angered people. I made people experience all kinds of emotions that they normally wouldn't have experienced today. So, mission accomplished. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, I, w- I was going to go out and go to 7-Eleven and get a Pepsi, but everyone's turning on sunshine, and I don't want to cause any trouble, so I guess I'll just start now. But I, ni- I might need to leave in the middle of the show and go get some caffeine. Not had caffeine today. I'd forgotten about that until sunshine reminded me. Yeah, Slurpee. Hijink says I should get a Slurpee. You guys, I'll be right back. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Just give me 20 minutes. It's it's just up the road. So I'm just going to say a bunch of weird stuff till I come in. Rabbi. Okay.
Okay, never mind. I, I can wait, I guess. Anyway, uh, today I'm doing a show uh, where once again I'm calling tech support people, tech support customers, um, because one of my listeners was nice and sent me a giant list of uh, tech support customers. Hello? Hi, Wendy? Oh. Yes. Hey, Wendy, it's John from the internet. I understand you were having some problems, wanting to change your information on your bank account. Oh, use, my use credit, credit card, card information. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you, you which want, I did. Oh, we didn't get the, the information yet. It didn't come through. Did, did someone call you already? Well, I gave it to a woman. I was talking to a woman, and I gave her all my credit card information. Oh, my goodness. I hope that wasn't and a she scammer. She said, no, this is... Well, I called. I made the call. Oh, okay. Well, I that's good. I called. Which company is this? Totally safe, then. Uh, this is... Oh, no, it wasn't for my internet. It was for my long distance. Right. Well, um, same thing. It's internet long distance. Durr. I gave the information. I called back, and I spoke with someone, and I gave her my information. Okay, we're going to need it all again. It, it's not even here That's in the computer. Weird. The weirdest thing. I don't no. know. It must have been a crash or something. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll call back and give my information then. Ah, damn it. I can't I scam your credit card number out of you now. Ah, you, you messed it up. You thwarted me. You thwarted my efforts. <laughs> Shit. No, shit, shit, I, shit. I wasn't getting a call back, so I said, I've got to do this because the due date is coming up. So I phoned back again, and I spoke with someone, and I gave her my credit card information, and she said, okay, it's all taken care of. In fact, she manually uh, paid my present bill. Did she sound like a Nigerian scammer? <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Because we, we don't let women work here. We don't let women handle the credit cards because we don't trust women. To, to do things like that, they might mess it up. Who, are you? Who is this? They'll get it confused with their KitchenAid mixer or something, and they'll probably be on their period. And next thing you know, it's like like I'm saying right now, it's not in the computer, and we're not sure why. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Did you hang up? That is like the third time I've tried to get someone's credit card number with these uh, internet people, and it never seems to work for some reason. I'd make a horrible scammer. Let's see. Azabel. Didn't I talk to an Azabel? Zap Ruder says, I- I'd be a great scammer. I just need to believe in myself. Thanks, Zap Ruder, for the encouraging words. Hello? Hi, Patty? Hi. Yes? Hey there. This is John from the internet. You called here to say you needed to cancel. Um, I'll be right back. Hold on. I have to go pee. Just a minute. I really have to go. <laughs> I have to urinate. So sorry. Um... Can you just hold on while I, I I just you know I was I was getting ready to make this call and all of a sudden uh, I don't know I I, just, I think it's an emergency. Can, can are you still there, Patty? <laughs> all right. So I, I was reading her thing as as she answered. A customer called to cancel her father-in-law's credit card as he is passing away. Like like he hasn't passed away. He is in the process of passing away. So. Um, she laughed and hung up on me, so I think all went well with that call. I did not make her cry. Hello? Hello? Hi, Carla? Yeah? It's, it's, it's Roy from the internet. Uh, you called and said you didn't have any internet a few days ago. Are you still having that problem? Okay, so it is working now, and I sent a text back saying that it was working. Oh, we didn't get your text. Are your texts broken? Are they broken? I don't know. We didn't. We didn't get your text. But anyway, your internet's working now. Yes. Um, if it, you didn't get my text, then how come the installer didn't show up? I don't know. I don't, who knows? Things are a mess over here. Anyway, it says here on your account you were identified as a Trump supporter. And there's a pay, pay uh, per new usage policy. We had to disconnect you because of your racism. So apparently you were just... What are you talking about? Well, apparently you were on the internet um, saying racist things. And we have a policy against that. We're a family company. And she hung up. That's all. Um, I think that was Milk Brain's fault. He told me to say that. Mrs. Chambers. It's so weird when they don't have a, a first name on these. DSL is not working. Same thing as before. I think she was uh, 
talking about Trump being a racist. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Chambers. Yes. Hey, hey, uh, it's Roy from from the internet. Uh, you called and said your DSL wasn't working. Yeah, but I'm on my way to work right now. I don't have time to do troubleshooting. Okay, well, I don't want to troubleshoot with you. I just want to let you know we we had to turn it off because you were being racist on your internet. I was being who? You were being racist on your internet. So we can't have racism on our internets. This is a family. How was I being racist? I don't know. You were saying racist things. So we had to disconnect your internet. I can't even say nothing on my... How, how can I say anything on my on my TV? What do you mean? Well, you know, when you do the interactive television program stuff. I don't know. And, and it picks up. There's a microphone in your TV. So if you're being racist in your home, we're going to disconnect everything. So why y'all making me pay for it if y'all disconnected it? Well, just stop being racist and it won't be a problem then. Well, nobody being fucking racist. Why is y'all charging me for some oh, shit and y'all oh, listen to you. my shit off? You, you're cursing at me and everything. I can tell you're a really hateful person. But just talking about somebody being racist. Well, just, nobody being fucking racist. Look, you're, it'll, it'll start working again. Just stop being racist. Y'all making me pay for some shit? You been paying all that time? And that's why they can't have the internet off. Ma'am, can you hear me? Mrs. Chambers? That's what? Yes, yeah, fine. No, no, no. Ma'am, ma- oh no, I didn't get to give her her uh, thirty-seven dollar swearing fee. Thanks for that, Caitlin. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm gonna put a thirty-seven dollar swearing fee on your bill because you swore at me. Man, fuck you. Oh, uh, oh, oh! There, another one. She hung up again. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm I'm charging you three swearing fees now. I've been swore at three times. So your next bill oh. is going to be an extra oh, okay. hundred and six dollars. I want to excuse me. Okay, excuse me. Okay, are you listening? Yeah, I guess. Okay, I'm listening to the racist. Why have I been being charged for my bill and my internet been off all this time? Well, no, I'm just I'm putting extra charges on the bill right now because I was being cursed at. And this. Okay, is a, what do they got to do? Well, they, oh, she okay. I give up. They they they, they hung up again. Oh, uh, Mr. Krabs wanted me to do a turd winder fee. Uh, next next time. You know, I haven't told anyone that we have a strict no motherfucker policy and they need to stop being a motherfucker. I really need to do that. Uh, a tree fell and her service is out. That's what it says. Sounds like an insurance scam. Hello. Hi, Stacy. She's not available, Master Scott. Uh, well, this is Roy from the internet. Um, she called and said that uh, her internet was out because a tree fell. Mm-hmm. And did did you guys get that working again yet? They fixed it yesterday. Oh, that's good. Yeah, uh, we were, we were talking to the insurance company, and they they say they suspect that this is some sort of insurance fraud. Like you guys knocked mm-hmm. the, knocked the tree over on purpose. Just to try and no, get- no, no. It was a, it was a storm. It wasn't even our tree to be a day. It was my neighbor tree that fell over in our yard. Yeah, but um, they said you went over to the neighbor's yard and like chopped it down yourself just so you could get money from your neighbors. No, we ain't chopped no tree down. How are we gonna chop a tree down though? It, it was windy that night. It, that shit happened at four o'clock in the morning. Excuse my language. Yeah, I know. But that happened at four o'clock in the morning. We were asleep when that tree fell. Yeah, well, that's that's some, that's something that an insurance fraudster would say. To try and you know cover their story, make it sound right. realistic. I don't know. You, you really shouldn't be doing an insurance fraud like that. Who? You stop stop being an an insurance fraudster. Who doing insurance fraud? Don't call me with no. I'm well, doing no insurance fraud. I don't even know how to chop down the tree. No, we we actually um the the insurance company told us all about it. They said you were out there at four in the morning chopping down a tree, and a neighbor saw you. Man, ain't no neighbor saw me. What neighbor said we chopped down the tree? Tell yeah. me, tell me the neighbor that said well, we chopped down the tree. Well, anyway, we we fixed your internet for free, but since you're uh, doing insurance fraud, I'm gonna put a turd winder fee on your account. And that's no, gonna... you're not gonna put nothing on my account because we didn't chop no tree down. How we gonna get up that high to chop well, a tree down? Well, prove that you didn't do it. I don't know. Maybe you have a ladder. Or... I'm gonna prove that I didn't chop no tree down, how and gonna... I wasn't even in. I was. I wasn't even outside. How are you gonna prove that I you was didn't? Sleep at four o'clock in the morning. How are you gonna prove that you didn't do it? Yeah, how they gonna say? Okay, give me this insurance company number. Well, anyway, I'm gonna put a seventy dollar turd winder fee on your. Oh well, y'all can turn your internet off. Y'all can turn it off. 
turn it on off because I'm not going to pay no seven dollars. Turn it right on off. Well, no, it's just because you're a turd winder, so I'm I'm going to charge a turd turd yeah. winder fee. <laughs> The chat room is pointing out her double negatives, which is basically a confession. I, I eat glue, says she needs to calm her biscuits. Let's call Patrice. She's French, but I don't know. Let's just call her anyway. Uh, she has an internet issue. Hey, on a envoyé ton appel à notre système de messagerie vocale. Céline Pacaboulabinda. <laughs> N'est pas disponible pour l'instant. Lorsque tu entends le beep, enregistre ton message. <sighs> I'm turned on now. All right, next is Vanessa. She's not able to place calls. So I'm going to be like, well, how'd you call us then? How'd you do it? You have reached the voicemail box okay. of five, six. Uh, Matt's in the chat room says that's actual Paris talk. Good point. Uh, Mont Sandwich wants me to say that there's a squirrel st stuck in her phone line. Hello, this is Dale. Hey, Dale. Yes, who's this? Please? Oh, you sound like a voicemail or something. This is John from the internet. Uh, we got a call from you saying you're not able to receive calls. Oh, yes. Uh, the it, ball phone is out of service. Uh, your home phone's out of service? Yes, the wall phones are uh, out of service. What, uh, uh, we can call, I think. We're, we're thinking of uh, of canceling that deal for the time. Oh, you there. better not. If you if you try and if you try and cancel, I'm going to put a cancellation fee on your account, and then it'll it'll cost more that way. So you better not cancel. Wait a minute now. What, what do you mean you, you're going to put a cancellation fee on it? I'm going to put like three cancellation fees. So please don't cancel. We'll get it fixed. Here, let me check in your area and see if there's any problems. Oh, I see. Here it is. Okay. It looks like there is a squirrel stuck inside the phone lines near your house. Uh a what? There's a squirrel that's stuck inside the phone lines. Oh my goodness, I don't know where that could be. I mean, we come in underground, of course, but... Uh, yeah, our sensors are uh, showing it. You know, he's actually stuck in the wire, like inside the phone line. Like like he, he jumped well, on the... I'm on the road right now. Hey, I, I'm on the road right oh, now. I don't care. about an hour. Maybe you can give us a call when I get back there, okay? Okay, well, do you have a lot of squirrels around your house? Is, is that the problem? Well, just naturally, you know, there's a wooded area not far from the house. Mm -hmm. uh, there might be, but it comes in directly from the street, you know, on the telephone directory. And uh, I can't imagine that he get in there because there's I, a terminal box on the outside of the building and the conduit that goes down to underground is can't be more than three quarter or one inch conduit coming yeah. up and the cable well i'm talking about just the wire in. just the wire he crawled into the wire you know like it, he's in with little copper stuff he, he uh, got like rode the electron stream right into the wires he's he's in there he's yeah, like that's stuck. a hard thing to figure yeah i'll tell you what you, uh, we'll be about an hour hour and a half okay. before we get home we're in, you, so you know hey, hey shh shh sh Hey, you know how when a snake uh, eats a mouse and there's a big lump in, in the snake uh -huh. in the middle? That's like what your phone wires look like right now, but it's squirrel-shaped instead of mouse-shaped. Well, okay. Very, it's very very <laughs> That's car a new one for me. Yeah. I can't imagine it at all. So. Very, okay. very well, cartoony looking. Uh, I'm also going to have to put sorry, a... What? It's very cartoony looking. I'm going to have to put yeah. also... I'm going to put an extra fee on your account. Uh, we call it the old per old people fee. Because you're so old? No, wait a minute. My wife is quite a bit younger. Oh, Where are you I'll, getting I'll, all this kind of stuff? Well, I've never heard of such Well, stuff. I was just trying to think of different fees we could put on the account to make up for, um, like, if you cancel. Well. I'm just saying. You wait don't... a minute. My wife wants to talk to you. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi. This is Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. How are you today? No, I'm not happy with. Uh, your, uh, your husband was. Your your husband was telling me how much younger you are than him. How how old are you? What's that got to do with the damn phone service? 
Well, he brought it up. I was just wondering, like, is it really young? Like, was it illegal when he married you? Or is he like a sugar daddy? (laughs) Darn it. Stephanie hung up on me. Okay, let's... She wanted to talk. I I need to call her back. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Let's call Amberly, just because that's a weird name. Seventeen thirty-eight wants me to say that the internet is leaking. Hello. Hi, Amberly. Yeah. Hi, this is um, Roy from the internet. You called and said your internet's not working. It's been a week. Did- uh yes, but they fixed it yesterday. Or oh, the did day they? Before. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, what What happened? Was there a leak? No. Oh, what was the problem? It was my. When they upgraded it, they didn't send a new modem, and they should have. Oh, what a bunch of dummies. Okay, so they wrote on here on the report um, that you were trying to offer sex and to, to get your bill lowered when the technicians came over. What? And there, there were no technicians. Oh. They never came. They oh. never sent anyone. They, they never came? No. They hmm. ended up mailing me a new modem. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that doesn't work then. Um that's good to hear. No, nobody came over to install it? Like, how'd you install it, since you're a woman? They, what? Like, how did you get it, how'd you get it working? Like, did you have, like, a male friend come over and hook hook, hook it up? Who is this? This is Roy from the internet? Provider? What? You heard me. I was just wondering, how, how'd you get it going? Like, if you didn't have a technician there to... Uh... God, Gloria, your, 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 your idea just completely fucked up my call. Thanks a lot for that. Damn it. Damn it. It's all Gloria's fault. Uh, Min Max wants me to accuse them of trying to steal the technician's kidneys and selling them on the black market. Uh, Alex customer did not want to provide his last name he said it was too long to spell customer wants to place a new order for two wireless headsets that just died customer also wants to merge his accounts this is miriam hi is alex there yes may i ask calling uh this is roy from the internet i'm sorry this is roy from the internet and uh, can I ask you what is this regarding? Uh, he wanted to place an order for wireless headsets and merge his accounts. Give with me the, one second. With the internet. All right, hurry okay, up. Okay, sure. Give hurry, me one second. Hurry, hurry. Hurry the fuck up. Thanks for holding him. This is Alex. Hey, Alex. This is Roy from the internet. I was just calling about hey, you well, wanting to uh, merge your accounts. Um, good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did, Hello? Hi. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, I was... Just got out of lunch. All right. It's me. okay. What'd you have for lunch? Um, it was Indian, so it was pretty good. <clears throat> oh, I see. Racist. Yeah. Um. All right. So, what are we doing? This is the. Yep, it is. Uh, so you wanted to perfect, order perfect. some wireless headsets? Um. Yes. Yes. Not the headset. The actual it's um wireless phone. It's oh, stuff. the phone. Yeah. The phone. I kind see. Of funny. Let Let me see if those are available. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, has your internet been turned off? Because I'm showing here it says they shut off your internet. No, it's uh, it's actually on. Since uh, I'm talking on the phone with you, it, it is on. Oh, are, are you at home right now? Or is this your business internet? This is the business, yeah. I see. Because they're showing there's a lot of... Uh, someone's watching a lot of pornography from your internet connection. So it looks like they okay. just shut it off today. It's, is it still working? Yeah, because I am on that network. Oh, okay. We're we're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to find someone else because someone's using a lot. They're using our internet services to look at pornography. And that's against the terms of okay. service. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not funny. It's pornography. It ruins yeah, lives. You all know. Right. This no, is, this, all right. This is a family company. Okay. So you can't do that. So you're gonna lose your internet. I don't understand how this has to do anything with Comcast. Well, you know, we we watch we watch all of your uh, your internet stuff, and uh, you know, we can see through your your internet lines because our, our phone stuff's hooked up to your internet. 
So we're gonna let okay. com- All right. we're gonna tell Comcast on you. We're gonna tattle. We're gonna be like, "Hey, Comcast, sure. he's looking at porn." Okay. And they're they're probably gonna call um, you up. That's and a very serious accusation. But all right. So okay. the only thing we wanted to do from this company is to order phones. Well, it's not an accusation. It's a fact because we we see it on your internet okay. logs. We watch all of your internet traffic through through uh, our equipment. Okay. And also, it looks like I'm, it looks I don't like, know what to tell you because. The internet is being used for the business. What, ki- what kind of business is it? So maybe there's somebody. We have a um, guest network, so we have a lot of people coming in and actually using our Wi-Fi. Oh, that sounds like something a open. porn addict would say. It's probably you, because I noticed you're not too surprised about it. Seem, seems like you, you, you're not surprised no, at all. No, I'm actually surprised about it. I just... You don't sound surprised. <laughs> so, sounds like... It's you, a weird conversation. You, you, sound more like, uh, you sound more guilty than surprised. Um, actually, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're a bad actor is what I'm saying. Um, That's a weird conversation we're having. Which computer are you on? Because I show this one. It's racked up about a thousand hours of porn, and it's mostly furry stuff, which is weird and gross. Uh, 80 terabytes of porn. No way. Oh, I, okay. I Okay, so look. I have um some voice stress analyzer things hooked up to the phone, kind of like a lie detector, and we can... We can, uh, you, we can, we, the computer just showed that you got really aroused when I mentioned the, that type of porn. Let me put you on the speakerphone. Hold on, hold no, on, hold on. No, nope, nope. Don't do it. Yeah. No, don't <laughs> yes, do I it. Will. Don't do it. This guy from India is yeah. calling. He's saying we have like 50 terabytes of porn. And he's like, he's telling me that I am guilty of it. Are you on the line? Uh, yes, sir. I, I was just trying to uh, set up this order for your phone handsets. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about with the porn. Okay. Sir, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is this Alex still? I, I, uh, so you wanted to place a, an order for two headsets? Um. Yeah. Okay. We so can what do that. this weird conversation you were just having with me? Sorry, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm just trying to do my job here. We don't need to kid around or anything. Um, do you want me to just ship these? Uh, sure. We can send no, these through four. UPS yeah. or US sure. mail if you'd prefer. Yeah, family company. I'm sorry, what? Look up everything. Sir, sir, are you there? Hello? Hello? Hi there, yes, sir. Um, this is Sasha. Um... Hey Sasha, can is we talk to supervisor? Supervisor, I, I I don't understand why I, I don't know what that guy is talking about. I'm just trying to order. He wants to place an order for Listen, some wireless no, headsets. No, no, no. Sir, sir, I'm sorry. I know my employees, and they don't lie to me and make up things like this. So I'm gonna need to speak to your supervisor. Okay, well, I hope this phone call has not been recorded for your sake. But this is this is crazy. Well, <laughs> What, what what do you mean about recorded? I, I haven't been saying anything weird. I, I've just been trying to place this order for two wireless headsets, and he wants to merge his account. And I can do that and everything, but it seems like he just wants to joke around or something. Great, I don't know what's going on. Is Sir, that, are you going to is, let me speak that, to your supervisor that, or not? Is that him yelling in the background? I, I don't understand what's He's going on. Yelling, sir. I, I thought Can he, I speak to your supervisor or not? I thought a very he, simple question. I thought that he yelled, bring it on. Well, hey, Sasha. No, Sasha, he's not. Is, he did not say it, that. Is it Sasha? Yes, sir. I would, yes, sir. Okay, well, you don't need to be a bitch or anything, okay? Because I'm just... <gasps> did you just call me a bitch? I need to speak to your supervisor right now. I, sir, I need to speak to your... I'm going to call on the other line. Uh, yeah, we're going to call on the other line. What was your name again? Uh, my name is Roy Zierbel. No, look, yes, we're, we're, right. um, look, it's not a big deal. To your supervisor. No, excuse me. You can either, I am the customer. I pay you guys. You can either transfer me to your supervisor right now, or we already have another assistant calling on the other line to speak to a supervisor. So well, it's your choice. It sounds like Roy. you don't need me to transfer you then. But look, um, I just need to let you know, uh, you know, if you're going to be a bitch, we're allowed to call you a bitch. It's not a big deal. It's it's not my fault you're being a bitch. You, you don't even need to blame oh me for that. Are, you, is this, are we being punked? Is this is this like a phone top Elvis Duran in the in the Y100? No, I'm calling from ma'am. 
You are You're the I I can I I'm I've been calling you sir this entire time. Yeah. I asked you, could I speak to your supervisor, but, sir? But you had an attitude. Me a bit. You had an You're attitude asking, though. To your supervisor. You, you can that call- is literally insane. You- that is one of the worst customer service I have ever seen. Just because I asked to speak to a supervisor, all of a sudden I'm a bitch? No, it's because, First of all, it's because of your bitchy derogatory, attitude. misogynistic thing to say to a woman. I am sorry. Right, don't don't get your panties your in a bunch. Right now. Well, don't get your panties in a bunch, ma'am. Um Okay, so uh, did you want to merge your accounts then? Because I can go ahead and do that. I have the account numbers. Did Did you still want to merge the accounts? Yes, Roy. I'd love to merge okay, the accounts. On. How much is that merger going to cost me? Well, I'm I'm putting an extra fee on your account right now. It's a, a stupid bitch fee, and that's going to be seventy three dollars on your next bill. Great. What was that fee again? It's a stupid bitch fee. Did I say it loud enough for your recording? Yes, you did. Thank you. Okay, Thank you're welcome you. for that. Make sure you uh, post it on social media and try and get me in trouble, like a tattletale. I, I, I you can't be from calling from. There's no, <laughs> there's no way. There's just no then, way. Then why are you recording? Why are you recording yes. this then? Because you're being so rude. Well, you're the one that's being a bitch. Like, your attitude and everything, trying to pretend that you can call me sir and, and not be a bitch still. All I said, we can, we, can report, we, can re- we can record the conversation again, or I don't know if it was recorded, but I repeated to you, sir, I would like to speak to your supervisor. That was the only thing I said. Yeah, but listen I to yourself. Said, it, it sounds like you just like to Alex. order people around all day. You sound like you're a nightmare to work for. Alex probably hates you. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep going. I love it. I love it. I love it. That makes my day. I love it. Please keep going. You can stop with You're the, really uh, hilarious. the, the You're passive. You're really entertaining us in our right. lunch break. You can stop with the passive aggressive shit, okay? I'm going to put okay. a pa- I'm putting a passive aggressive fee on your account. Not even typing. This is I, I don't know who you are. I mean, if you don't like us, if you don't like me personally, please leave my employees alone at work. I I'm, mean, it's I'm gonna, fine if you don't I'm going to add, I, I'm going to, hey, sh- 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 hey, hey, shut up, shut up. I'm going to add a $39 MyDoll fee for you. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Please, please, please. I have my period right now, so that's going to really be oh, awesome. Sexual harassment in the workplace fee. Yes, please. M- making Alex l- listen to you talk about your period fee. Sure. Uh, ag- aggressive on your period fee. Okay, she's actually gone. She hung up. I sh- I should have just just I I should have acted like Alex was crazy the whole time. That was kind of funny at first. But no, I had to fuck it up. Start saying crazy shit. <sighs> All right, who's next? Oh, here we go. A family health care center, Mr. Simpson. Uh, f- commercial. Fax line, credit card line, not working. Holy crap, you guys! Eight, this this internet company sounds like garbage. And tell them I think faxing is stupid. What are they doing? Hello. Hi, is this Mr. Simpson? Yes, it is. Hey there, this is Greg from the internet. Uh, you called about your fax line not working. Yeah. And uh, did they get that going yet? No. I know why they didn't. Uh, it's because our, our, our phone lines, we don't like to accept faxes over the phone lines. It takes up too much bandwidth. Um, faxing... Well, we had our own, we had our own fax machine. Uh, mm-hmm. It didn't have anything to do with the phone line. It, yeah. was, it was working for a year before they, they did something to it and they couldn't get it back working again. Yeah, well, we just don't want people faxing because guess what? It's 2016. Who the hell faxes anymore? Well, we're a medical clinic, you know. We have to do that stuff for it. Yeah, uh, well, buy a computer. Uh, Maybe you uh, should buy. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait! Wait a minute! Who are you? Uh, this is Greg from. Uh, maybe you guys yeah, should. I don't, you know, y'all, I, I, I want you to tell me what I need to do with my business. Okay, this I, is I'm, the way we want to do it. I'm not telling you what you need to do. Ain't telling me a damn thing. Okay, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying you, maybe your business should buy a computer. Maybe that's what you need to well, do. Well, we have a we have we have five computers, and it, it's a. Uh, uh, 
Um, well, you see, okay. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna use y'all service anymore behind this conversation. I don't well, like you, man. Well, you can't anyway, because you know it's it's not 1992 anymore. Who who the hell faxes anymore? Okay. Well, we well well we're gonna get rid of you. Well, good. I'm tired of talking. Who who, well, who, who are your supervisor? Well, who are your boss? Why don't you get rid of your fax machine? Who are your boss? Get rid of your fax machine no, too. No. Who are your boss? Who are who, who are my boss? Uh, my boss are yeah. my boss are his name is Chad Williamson. I call headquarters in North Carolina. I get you fixed real quick. Oh oh, you get me Thank fixed. You. I'd like Bye. to see you try, motherfucker. Yo. I think the phone might be in his pocket or something. He's he's yelling about me. He was pissed. This is a very unprofessional conversation. Hello, Mr. Simpson? Yep. We're gonna have to add a idle standby fee on this guy's account. Thanks, Duck Hunt Pro. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Maybe I should just leave this running while I go to the store to get a Pepsi? Well, this sucks. I can hear him talking, but I can't understand a thing he's saying, so I'm just going to hang up. That was pretty awesome. He got pissed. <laughs> Mrs. Phillip. That's that's who we're going to call. Mrs. Phillip. Customer said extension something is not working. Oh, customer stated that she was also already contacted and the problem's been resolved. So, so it's time to tell him tell him that uh Oh, what was it? H- Hello? Mrs. Philip? May I help you? Hey there, this is Roy from the internet. I I understand your uh extensions weren't working or something. Your inter- your internet your phones, I mean. Take it down. What? No, I think you called the wrong number. No, is this Mrs. Philip? Yes, it is. It says right here, your internet wasn't working, and then uh, the, someone came over and fixed it. The problem's resolved. Did you have a technician come over? Mm, no. Who are you? Who, who are you guys? I'm with. Oh no, we did not have a technician come over. Uh-uh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, All right. So you have a phone we number? We need a port. Huh? What? I'm we sorry. We need a port open. Yeah. But we got to talk to the to we got to talk to your um, internet provider. I see. And then we'll call you guys back. Well, okay. okay, but you have a phone number through us, right? Uh-huh. Okay, I just needed to call and let you know that um we're going to be uh giving you a new phone number cuz we need that phone number. What do you mean you're going to be giving me a new phone number cuz you need that phone? That's my phone number that I transferred from my local phone company. I know, but uh, it looks like um so there's a celebrity that's uh local here and he wants your phone number because it spells his name apparently, or, or spells one of his catchphrases. I guess. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's not going to happen. Oh I've no, had no, it's for 14 years. I, I already. I'm, I no. put the transfer order through right now, and just now. No, and, um, no, 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 no. That's not going to go. That's not going to happen. No, that's it's not going to happen. It, you can have a manager call me back, and you have a lovely day. It's already happening, stupid. It's not. It's. Did you just call me stupid? Oh, I thought you hung up. I'm sorry. Um, oh, okay. You know what? Have a manager call me back. Have a lovely day. Uh, no, goddamn you know it, me, motherfucker. No, let me speak. Spe- what? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. This is the manager here. I'm, I'm, I can barely hear you. Oh, my God. Who, who's your phone service provider? Sir? It's awful. I can I can't understand you. Take it off speaker. Sir, yeah. Nancy's calling. Uh, this is Roy from. Okay, if you're calling from, how could you tell me that my phone service provider is horrible when you are my phone service provider? Oh. So with that being said, sir, this is the manager. I was listening in on the call. Can you mm-hmm. please let me speak to your manager? Oh my please? God, you're nosy, aren't you? You always listen to your uh, employees' phone calls. Can I have your name? That's fucked up, man. You're you're, you're basically like a, a communist. <laughs> You're so funny. Go scam somebody else, asshole. Okay, I will. <laughs> she laughed at me. That was awesome. I love how many businesses we're getting today. It's weird. Philip. Let's call Philip. The internet's down. That's all it says. The internet's down. Hello. Hi, Philip. Yes. It's Roy from the internet. I, I hear your internet's okay. down. 
Yes, it's still down. Oh, you can stop yelling at me. I don't need to be abused. I'm calling to try and help. So, oh, no. I'm not yelling at you. Oh, hey, hey, hey. There you go with the yelling again. Please stop, okay? So, I'm not yelling. Uh, what, what, when, when did it go down? Three days ago. Three, oh, uh, come on. Just, you don't have three to. Days ago. You don't have to yell your answers at me, Jesus. I'm not okay. yelling. Three days ago, so like on Tuesday. Yes. How would you like it if I, if I yelled yes that you like that? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. You just keep yelling nobody, at me. No, but sir, it's just, sir, it's not nice. I'm not <laughs> yelling. I'm not yelling, sir. He yelled. It might be. I'm not yelling. Okay. I haven't yelled since this conversation okay, okay. started. Okay. Okay. Uh, just, okay. Just let me do the talking because you're just you're just screaming at me. I can't handle this kind of abuse. I'm very emotional today. Do you have a supervisor? You know, I don't know why you supervise. <laughs> emotional stop. at me. I'm not even yelling. Oh my I'm God, talking I, to you in a normal, you're, calm voice. You're gonna make me cry. All right. I'm I'm starting to shake because you're you're yelling at me so much. Just, just. I, I'm just trying to do my job. I just want to fix. I just want to fix your internet, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm shaking. You, you, I'm, I'm shaking. I never shake, and and because of you, I'm shaking. I've got to drink a Pepsi and calm down. Jeez, triggered me. So what's wrong with the internet? It's not up. It's not right. Um, I don't know what to tell you, but this is wrong. It's not, it's not sending out. You know what? You uh, know what? Fuck you. If you're going to yell at me, fuck you. You know, I, I don't care if I lose this job at this point. Sir, <laughs> can I speak to your supervisor? Because I have not yelled at you, and you just cussed at me. You're sh- I have not yelled at you. I'm not even yelling. I don't know if your headphones are up too high. Or whatever this case may be, but I am not yelling at you. All right, all right okay, stop yelling, stop I yelling. I have no reason to yell it. Please, please. I'm not yelling at you. Please. I am not yelling. I'll get a su- I'll get. I'll get a supervisor. Just please stop yelling, sir. Let me get the supervisor. Hello, this is the supervisor. Can I help you? Hello, Philip. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just I can't do a prank call if I get yelled at like that. It makes me nervous. Uh, Emma. Emma says her telephone cable is cut, and she has no service. Yeah, no. Hello, Emma. We. Oui? Is this Emma? Uh, we speaking. I, I'm calling. I'm an internet technician for the company. I'm trying to fix your internet, your your telephone. Okay. I I'm I'm under your house right now in a tunnel. Are you you are on my house? I'm underneath your house. I'm under the basement. Oh, I I, I I'm, understand. Uh huh. What? I understand, but okay. I am not in the house. Oh, you're not? Where are you at? So, I am not near. W- where, are you, where are you at? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Where are you at? No, I cannot come. No, I'm not asking you to. I was. Are, are you at home right now? I'm banging on the ceiling with a broom. Can you hear me? I hear you, but I am not home. Oh, you're not home. Where are you at? I am out. What are you out doing? What? Anyway, underneath your house, there is a large tunnel. A large cave and a bunch of tunnels and stairs and columns and stuff. I found a secret room underneath your house. Okay. Um... But and, and that's pretty cool, right? Because, you know, more square footage. What? More square footage for you, because th- there's a bunch of space down here. Yeah, but I didn't know if you're coming. Yeah, well, I guess it's all yours. I just want to find out 
Um, do you think me and you can split the gold that I found down here in the cave? I couldn't. What? I I don't understand what you. I found mean, uh, I found golden doubloons from 1592, and it's worth a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars, probably billions. Can we split it? I don't understand what what you're talking about. I found a bunch of money under your house. Gold doubloons. It's a treasure. Treasure chest. One-eyed Willie. You find it. You find it is on my house? We're, we're rich. We're rich beyond our wildest dreams. Okay, I prefer you speak French, but I don't understand that you're talking about. Oh, I don't speak French. I'm an American. This is America. Mm. Okay. But you said you find a treasure in my house? Yep. Millions of millions of doubloons. Golden... Oh, what house? Your house. Underneath your house. I am in Montreal. What are you talking about? But here's the problem. The gold is guarded by a skeleton, and we have to do some puzzles to get to the gold. It's going to be I an adventure. It. I don't understand what you're talking about. I know, that's what makes this prank not funny. It's basically just a one-sided prank call. That's why I always skip the foreign names. It's nothing personal. It's Who not that are I'm, you? It's nothing personal. It's not that I'm racist. It just doesn't work that Who well. Are you? I, Who are you? I don't understand. I'm, ca you <laughs> I'm calling from the internet. I'm fixing your internet. Okay, you call from the internet, mm -hmm. but you ask to not... And me, I am an, no, uh, I'm not an astronaut. Oh, yeah, but you said to me you find a um, prisoner in my. Uh, <laughs> I what? Tell me your name. Uh, uh, give me your name my, because I am on uh, the office, uh, Canadian. Uh, 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 uh. My name I is am Roy. On the Canadian I was gonna share the gold with you. But since you can't understand I me, can call, shh, hey, hey, don't I interrupt. Can call the Shut up. Police. Shut up. I will call the police. Why? Give me the, the, <laughs> Why would you call the police on me? To help, but to help, but what? The, what the, are you talking about? I, I'm just uh, trying to fix your results, internet. Okay, you speak to me in internet, but internet is what? All right. Uh, I, but the, 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 you know, the government have to know that. I'm going to hang up now, and I'm going to take this gold to the bank and deposit it into my account. Okay, give me your phone, give, you, give me your phone number. I refuse. I'm not going to do it. Give me your phone number. I won't do it. No. Oh, oh okay. You're on the food. No, I'm not going to do it. You do bad thing. You do bad thing. Give me your phone number. I didn't do a bad thing. You did a bad thing. You're okay. the bad you person. Call me, you call me for what? Uh, to fix your internet. Okay, I have to go now. I have to go. I'm hanging up. Okay. I have to go okay. to the bank. I don't understand why. Okay, I will tell the, the government that. I'm, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the bank, deposit this money, and start my new life. I'm going to quit my job. I will and I'm call gonna... the government to say about that because I earn many, many money from the government. I have to pay him. I have to tell him what you tell me i have you know, more money than the government important. now i have more money than it's the government very, it's very important for me to to advise that to me i am very happy for that i'm just trying to fix your internet man that's all i'm just trying to eh? fix i'm just trying to fix your internet give me your okay but give me your call your address i uh, no, i won't do I it i can call you back no i can call you back no no Oh, crazy people. Give me your phone number. I won't do it. You, you Why? Give, you give me your phone number. I give you my phone number? Yeah, what is it? Give it when? to me. When? Give, give me your when phone I number. When I give you. Give me, give me that when phone I number. When I give you. What is your name? What? Yeah, yeah. What is your name? Roy. 
Lloyd? Dois? Dois. Your name Dois? Lloyd. Voice? Voice. What is your name? Roy. Okay, give me your phone number now. <laughs> no. Why? Because I, I'm not giving you any gold. It's all my gold. I'm going to the bank now. Okay, okay. I have to hang up. I'm no, going to the bank. Listen, listen, listen to me. If, if you serious, you call me to see me, and uh, I have to call you back. Give me your name and your phone number. Um, let's see here. I, I hmm. can. No. I can call. I can call you back. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm hanging up. Why? Because I don't do shit. Nothing bad to you. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. Uh, look, I gotta go. I gotta. I'm gonna go fix your internet and your your telephone now. Okay. I I gotta go. I gotta fix things. You want to fix my internet? Yeah, yeah. I have to figure out how to get out of this hole though. So I gotta go. Gotta go. Hanging up. Here it goes. Hanging up the phone. All right, that was exhausting. See, see why I don't call weird names? I, I'm just like tired now. I just want to quit. All right, Glenn was at work and not able to troubleshoot. Advise her that I may not be available and advise her to call technical support when she is available. Gave technical support's telephone number. Wow, that's complicated. Um, oh, and their internet's down. How am I gonna be an astronaut, Katie? That's, what? Hello. Hello, Glenn? Yes. Hey, Glenn. It's Roy from the internet. Uh, we got a report that your internet was down. Uh, yes. And uh, did they get that working yet? Uh, I'm not sure. I have not been to the house. There's somebody here. My brother's actually there. <sighs> what a pain so in the I ass. Don't know. Okay. I can give okay. you a number to call over there and check. Is it the 3342 number? Uh, yeah, four, uh, five, blah, 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 blah. Don't say it. Jesus. Come on. We're on the air. Um, I need to know. Uh, so you have a phone number with us, right? You, you have phone service through us? No. Ah, fuck. Let me look at my list. Uh, that one doesn't work. Thank you, Gloria. Um... <laughs> Uh, we're going to be putting extra fees on your account. Mr. Crab says it's going to be a fart knocker fee. Wait a minute. Say it. I'm sorry. Hold on just a second. I'm definitely wrong. What was that? You kind of trailed off. Hold on. I, my Bluetooth's not working well. Let me switch. Ah, your Bluetooth. Got to get that Bluetooth working. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. So I'm calling from space. And I, I'm one of... I'm on the International Space Station. So I, I'm actually calling you from outer space. Okay. Um, so is what we've been doing... I wanted to apologize. Is what we've been doing is we've been beaming microwaves at your house. And I think that's been interfering with your internet. Sir, Glenn? You're microwaving from my house. No, no. Microwave beams. It's like we're directing uh, a bunch of energy at your house. Okay. And um, I think that's what's wrong with your internet. And who is this again? Uh, my name is Roy Gerbel. I'm an astronaut. And I'm calling okay. you. I'm calling you from. All right, all right, Roy. I don't have time for this. Stuff. You don't have time for ast astronauts. Well, damn it! Are you happy, Katie Baker? I said I'm an astronaut. Damn it! All right. Um. All right, Katie fucked that one up, you guys. I, I apologize on Katie's behalf. People don't have time for that shit, Katie. So let's call Simone. Simone wants to confirm her tech appointment. Hello. Hello, Simone. May I tell her who's calling? Uh, well, this is Roy from the internet. I was calling to confirm her tech appointment. What tech appointment? Well, for the internet. 
listen, you need to stop calling because I've already called and canceled that appointment. That was for Monday. Hey, don't yell at me, motherfucker. Okay? okay? You don't have to yell at me. No wonder we had to cancel your service. Oh, she hung up. What, what was that all about? <laughs> Somebody does not like this company. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not available right now, so if you would leave me a message, I will return it. Uh, Earl. Let's call Earl. His internet's not working. This is an older one. I think this is from, like, last week. This is from the original list. <laughs> hello? Yes. Oh, hello. Is Earl there? This is Roy from the internet. Yeah, what What, what do you want? What do you want? Hey. Regarding what? Uh, well, I'm calling for Earl. Are you Earl? No, the wife. Oh, you're the wife. Okay. Well, I just needed yeah. er, I, I needed to what? let Earl know um, that he's he's Pornhub's uh, user of the month. So congratulations to Earl. He's Pornhub's user of the month. He's downloaded the most pornography. Like what? Um, you know, just porn, just general pornography. Huh? Pornography. Earl downloaded a lot of pornography, and he's the winner. He's the winner of the month. He downloaded the most porn in August. And the month's not even over yet. Pornography? What? Pornography? Yeah, pornography. You know, naked people. No, 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 no. Sorry. Oh, no, he, he wins. Earl's the winner. Oh, did he do that? Yeah, he yeah. He have that. No, he won. He he downloaded the most porn. So he's the winner. Congratulations, Earl. Oh, no, no, Yay, no, no. Sorry, Earl. sorry. We're not, we're not us for that. Thank you. So uh, sorry, Earl, sorry. Earl wins. Earl wins the prize. No, it's no, a, no. a free meal at Carl's Jr. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a free Bye. meal at Carl's Jr., ma'am. It's free food. Why don't you want free food? I don't understand. <laughs> I think that was Zap Ruder's idea, sort of. Thanks, Zap Ruder. Oh, here we go. Here's here's a lady named Mildred. And holy shit, she lives in the same state that the original Mildred lived in. This lady has to pick up. I don't have a direct link to that song yet. I guess I need oh. to make one. Hello, Mildred? Yes? Hey, Mildred, it's Roy from the internet. Oh, I don't know who you... <laughs> I don't have no internet. Um, you, the phone service, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Telephone. <laughs> Okay, I got you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just needed to let you know um, the phone number that you have. We're we're gonna we're gonna give that to someone else. Someone else needs your phone number, so you're gonna get a new phone number. Me? Yeah, we're gonna give you a phone number in Hawaii. It's gonna start with eight oh eight. Oh no! Oh, why are you doing that to me? Uh, it's oh, well, it's not me. It's there's somebody else. They want your phone number. It's a celebrity. And he says that your phone number spells his name. I don't want to do that. You tell him I don't want to give him my number. I've had that number ever since I lived here in my house. Yeah, but you don't get a choice. We're just going to give it away. We're going to give it to uh, this celebrity guy. Because your, your number actually spells out Carrot Top. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Yeah, well, I just, I'm sorry, but we're going to change your number. Your number is going to be 808... Four, six, Wait five. a minute. Wait a minute. I got to get a pen and write it down. Okay. Okay. 808. Yep. 465. 465. 6969. Or as I like to say, 69. Oh, yeah. Are you sure you're from... Yeah. Did you just throw your pencil... No, I just laid it on the table. Oh, okay. Well, it sounded like you did it really hard, like you're mad or something. Well, I don't understand this. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just he's a celebrity, so so he, he wants your phone number. and But the good news is I picked out a number especially for you. Um, your phone number spells... It spells something. Do you want to know what it spells? Don't matter, I guess. Well, should I really say it? Because it's, it's, it's obscene. 
It's a what? It, it's obscene. Like I, I made your number. I'm your 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 new phone number. It spells a bad word. Well, I don't need that. Well, nobody will know. I, I'll I'll just just for, forget I said anything. I, I won't I won't I won't tell you what I made it spell. So I'm not going to have my eight four four number. No, no, that's all gone. That belongs to Carrot Top now. Do you know who Carrot Top is? Yes. Yeah, he, he, your old number it spells carrot top, but your your num- your new number is cooler now because it spells. Well, no, I, I don't want to tell you what it spells. It's it's too bad. It's too obscene. I, I can't say that to uh, an, an old lady, you know. Thank you a lot. You're welcome. But I mean, I can tell you if you want. I don't know. No, never mind. Okay. Um, you, you sound less happy than you did when I first called. I'm not happy. That's not, I, I don't believe you that they can just call you and change your telephone number. You don't do it, but they do. Yeah, well, it's, it's cause it's Carrot Top and he's a renowned celebrity and everybody loves him. And he just, he wanted the number cause, uh, he wants to, um, he wants to make it a joke line. Like you call up, you call up Carrot Top, you call up his number and it tells a joke with a prop. Well, I have to call all my friends and tell them my number now. They don't know it. Yeah, well, it'll, you know, if you've got an easy-to-remember number, just let me tell you what your number spells. And and you can just tell your friends, guess what? I got a new number, and it spells this. Your, what, your, what is it? Your Your number, it spells, I love boobies. That don't matter. But you have to spell love like L U V. So I love boobies. Y- you know? I don't know. So your friends aren't going to have a problem remembering your new phone number cuz cuz you can just be like just dial I love boobies on your phone and there I am. Okay. Yay, boobies. You're you're welcome for that by the way. Okay. Okay, well, um, do you want me to call up any of your friends for you? I, I could put them on three. Oh, I'll do it myself, sir. Well, I can do it. I can put them on the phone, and, and we'll just all talk together. No, I'll do it. I have, Thank you. I have three-way calling here. I can do it. What's the first no, friend's No, I'll do it number? myself. Oh, let me do it. I want to help. I want to help. I said I will do it, sir. But what if I want to help? I just want to be helpful. I don't want you to help. But it would be easier this way. No, I'll do it myself. Okay. Did you want a different phone number? I could give you one in, uh, I don't know, Iraq. That would be original. But it wouldn't spell out. No, thank you. What, are you racist? No, I'm not racist, sir. I'll just take the number you gave me. I don't have a choice in the numbers anyway. It's true. Well, no, you, you have a choice. I could give you a local number if you want. But no, I don't. It's kind of cooler. I thought it'd be cooler for you to have a Hawaii number. It makes makes it seem like you know you're you're just you jet around the country all the time, and maybe this is just your summer home or whatever. Okay, sir. I'm getting another call. Okay. Oh, but I have to tell you something. Uh, your new phone number it's not it's it's not compatible with your <laughs> with your current phones. You have to get all new phones. No, I can't do that, sir. I can't do that right now. I guess I'll just do it without a phone call. I don't have money to do all this right now. It, it only works for orange phones. But we can do a payment plan on all these new phones that you're going to have to buy. Thank you, sir. I, I'm, I'm going to go, okay? Okay, okay. Answer the other phone. Get the other line. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what a racist. Damn old people. Jeez. <laughs> oh, do drop. Uh, <laughs> tell her her new phone number is five. I, I wish I had done that. It's not sad, sh- sunshine. Come on. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> she's, she's going to tell her friend right now, you won't believe this. My new phone number is I love boobies. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be the best thing ever. All right, everyone. It's me again, pre-recorded Brad. The live show is over. And I should probably mention uh, that this was a XYZ pre-show, as you probably know. So I went off the air and XYZ did his show. And he was nice enough to call that old lady and apologize for me. 
But unfortunately, he fucked it all up and didn't do it right. He screwed up the call and he didn't get to make the apology. No, really what happened is she just kind of yelled at him a little bit and then hung up. So she got her spunk back. Probably whoever called her uh, talked some sense into her and they had a good laugh over it. And her friend looked at her telephone keypad and noticed that her new phone number did not spell I love boobies. So everything worked out in the end. I'm sure of it. And unfortunately, XYZ has not put his show up yet, or I would steal the clip from his show and play it on here. So that means you need to go to xyzshow.xyz and listen to his show from August 26th, and you'll get to hear the, the last call to Mildred. Mildred Friday, as someone in the chat room was calling her earlier today. Hey, let's listen to some voicemails before we hey, end Brad, the show. Hey, Brad. from Canada calling. Hey there. I've been meaning to buy a couple PLA shirts and and propaganda yeah, and yeah. I've been waiting for the stars to align on my budget and my job to pick up you know what you can't wait around for stuff like this you need to go out and make it happen you need to go out there and, and, and just steal money out of a register somewhere or rob a bank or snatch a purse or something you know you gotta figure out some way to get that money for, for PLA things PLA things are an important part of your life so you know get your shit together I, I was just listening to the Ruth Jeez. and Carm episode and at the end there that cutie pie FOD87 Apparently all he had to do was put on his PLA shirt and wear the badge to DEF CON and then later that night he's having sex with two guys at the same time. Yep. Like, sign me the fuck up, Brad. That's all I have to say, okay? But you feel and dumb now. And order for me real soon. Thanks. Cactus. Bye. You know what? Fuck your mortgage. Fuck your car payments. Fuck your electric bill. When, when, when you pay all that stuff off, what do you really have to show for it? Nothing. So that's why you should just sink all your money into the phone losers of America. Hey, Mike. I got your cake message. How'd you know I like golf? Listen, we need to start picking around and get this Henderson fire locked down. I swear to Christ, if Kowalski gets the count this year, I flip. Wednesday doesn't work for me. Must be a wrong number. They don't let me back at the cactus room after what happened last time. Give me a call back. Let's figure this out. Talk to you. Yep, must be a wrong number. I don't know what that was about. I wish I knew who Mike was so I could forward him the message. Mr. Carter, this is Jim Bob of the Impaler. Hey, Jim hey, Bob. Hey, do me a favor. Check the your Impaler. email. Uh, Shout you a few questions I uh, needed to uh, have answered. Okay. Please, and thank you. Great I'll, show today, I'll by the way. get right on that. Later. Let me just log right into my email, and I'm sure I can find it easily. Hey, Roy. It's Nick. Hey, Nick. It's Nick Co. Incorporated, and I got oh, some good great. news for you, bud. Shit. Uh, so the other board members and I decided to do a Hunger Games and I won, so I'm now I'm the sole owner of Nitco Incorporated. Woohoo! And uh, I'd like to extend an invitation to our first annual Coke and Hooker party. I'll be there. You and other guests can come to my Coke and Hooker party. Um, bring your own condom. Can't wait. Have a good day, bud. Bye, Nick. Hello, this is uh, Roy Cole Roofing. Can't answer you. My name's Vic. It's a voicemail, dummy. I got a situation here. Oh shit! My buddy uh, says she was over uh, replacing his roof. And then I should call you. Hmm. See. What do you know? See, I got a, I got a cactus that's grown out of my roof. And uh, I want to see what it costs for you to come fix it. I'll, but okay. I have another problem. Is when I was up on my roof looking at them cactuses, I left my binoculars up there. I'll so grab those please go ahead you. and quote me a price. Okay. Find my Thanks binoculars. for calling. And remove the cacti. Brad called in. From my Bye. Roof. Hi, Brad. This is Baz. Long time never hey, called. Hey, Baz. Hey, um, Holy shit. what's this about uh, all the customer service agents who are busy? What kind of service is that? Yeah. Anyway, um, I was just really Fuck. bored. I'm sitting around Damn trying it. to decide what to do. I figured I could either, one, maybe trim my nose hairs, maybe mm. groom my mm. dog's belly. Oh, I had some thoughts of maybe muting a TV show that I've never seen and making up the dialogue. Oh, don't or get maybe too crazy. calling the PLA message line. So this is what I try to do. I think you made the wrong choice. Uh, you know what? This is this is really really boring. Yep. This is super boring. I'm what were you go. thinking? Bye. Thanks, Cactus. Thanks for wasting everyone's time, Baz. Jeez. All right, you guys. I think Baz has pretty much just completely brought down all the energy levels on the show. What's the point of even doing anything more? So I'm gonna quit. If you enjoyed today's show, you should support the PLA by going to patreon.com slash phone losers, or better yet, go to phonelosers.org slash cactus. And for just five bucks a month, you can support the show and get occasional secret shows and videos for the live shows sometimes. Like today's show, there is a video that goes with it. And if you're logged into the website, you can see it. It's pretty exciting. 
Thank you, Julian, for sponsoring the show today. It's Julian's fault that Mildred, instead of saying funny old lady things, she just got annoyed with me and wanted to hang up. Thanks a lot for that, Julian. Be sure to add Phone Losers on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone losers, on Twitter at twitter.com slash phone losers, and buy a bunch of PLA shirts for hobos at phone losers.spreadshirt.com. Share this show as much as you possibly can. Tell all your friends and family about it until they politely ask you to cut it out. If that doesn't happen, you're just not promoting the show properly. So you definitely need to step up your game and do a better job at promoting me. Do you know who Carrot Top is? Yes.